there we go. Okay, just gonna do a tutorial on starting off as free man. Your castle <laughs> awaits. With my assistance as Lechi. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> People are coming to the castle. First thing you wanna do is get a stockpile and some woodcutters. And depending on what food resource you wanna go with, depends where you wanna put your granary. I'm gonna go with bread, so I'm gonna put the granary here. Close to a stockpile, but not too close. And you just want to start off with getting your honor up. So you're going to need different food types. So I'm going to go with some apple, and well, I'm going to go for everything at the moment. You'll soon see. And here's my assistant, Lechi, aka Kramator. He is also a fellow noob, like you a lot. He was learning. <laughs> Hopefully he will improve. Hopefully with this video. I'll never improve. I know, but... <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really deny that. Okay, um... I just want to build my market. Okay. This one is buy some wood out of the gold you got and get yep. more woodcutters and let's get your hobbles yep okay, let's go see how the assistance lecture is doing No comment. <laughs> First, I won't go through his mistakes yet. We'll do that later on. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Now we're just going to be playing the waiting game for a while. The woodcutters collect the wood and the lag does its lag between me and my assistants. So he's currently downloading porn. As always. Yep. <laughs> and the Skype call is going a bit weird, but oh well. Bit of a weird noise. Sounds like good elevator music. What do you want to that? It's that two music. <laughs> Can't you hear it? I turned it off. <laughs> like you keep music for other games on, but this is the actual one game I actually leave the music on for. <laughs> All the other games, I turn the music off, but for this game, I actually keep it on. <laughs> this is the one game I do leave the music on for. Do 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 do. Sorry, it, it will be taking a while to gather the wood, but the lag is affecting the game. I changed where I put my stockpile because I was in a bit of a stupid position. Um, I think the downloads are affecting us. <laughs> yeah. Um, would it be possible to pause them? <laughs> um. I think we can just cancel it, we'll just... Yeah, it just continues if you click it. Uh, I, ain't I, don't, I don't know who will be affected more, me or you. Well, I've cancelled mine now. Okay. Ah, uh, please don't do this. No. No. What? World of Tate, uh, straight on 2 crashed. On you? Yeah. For some reason, when I play single player, yeah. I can minimise it fine and that. But in multiplayer, I decide to minimise it and bam, I <laughs> <won't> reopen. 
put down after we do all that. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm we're back. We I, I minimised the game and it cr crashed, so it wouldn't let me load back up. But first things first, we went back to roughly where we was. So yeah, I was just waiting for wood. And my mate's gone back roughly to where he was, with no food supplies whatsoever. <laughs> but yeah, we're back, and we're going to continue doing the tutorial. As you see, nothing's changed, and the lag should be gone really, as the he's downloading has stopped. So this should go a bit faster this time. I'll try to face everything back exactly how it was. So let's see how it goes. Okay, it's still lag. <laughs> he's still downloading. Yeah. No. <laughs> nah, it wasn't as bad as before though, was it? No. For once the woodcutters actually managed to collect some wood on the off side actually. Yeah. Before they were sitting there. So, yeah, yeah, we're actually getting wood this time. Before it was like, couldn't cut the log. <laughs> I'm not sure it will even itself out eventually anyway. Maybe. <laughs> uh, I can always minimise my game. <laughs> There's a 50 chance that the game won't come back unminimised, as it's multiplayer. <laughs> For some reason, it just likes doing that on Windows 8. It's going to be a great tutorial video of lag. <laughs> <laughs> tutorial video of lag. Take two. The horse takes two steps and then <laughs> lags. He takes two steps forward, two, one step back. <laughs> one step forward, two steps back. Oh. Our treasury is While empty. you wait for the wood, you can always build a treasury and get ready to use that once you get enough food supplies going. So I don't think I'm tortured tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> then again, you still ain't got any granary, or you ain't got no hovels. Yeah, I just got some wood in the thing after it finished lagging towards it. <laughs> <laughs> Have I got some wood? Okay, good. Okay, now I'll show you what to do next. Also, you ain't going to be going with bread straight away because you need to promote yourself to do that. And you'll find I'll show you how to promote shortly. Okay. But in Freeman, you've got to promote your way up to Duke, so to promote yourself, you need honour. First stage getting, are growing, sir. First stage of getting honour is to get different food types. And lag. You cannot forget that lag. <laughs> if you don't have lag in your game, then there's something wrong. <laughs> lag is a vital part of the gaming experience. Exactly. <laughs> you cannot call yourself a gamer if you have not experienced lag. <laughs> Blamed. Dying. Or some sort. In a different game. <laughs> on it. Indeed. Yeah. Okay, let's see. The peasants are eating well, sire. This indeed brings you some honor. Let's get some more hunters post before I start raising it. Your popularity let's is get a good high study supply first. <laughs> Do not hear that. <laughs> Here's a tip as well. Do not build where you'll be building your main wall defence and that. Because 
Basically, you don't want to build near the entrance of where your enemy will attack. On this map, it's quite simple. There's only one direction, so if you want to keep this area nice and clear. Because the last thing you want is the enemy catapults and that hitting your buildings. <laughs> That's why I started building down in this corner. Especially because of all the wood, the iron, and the, and the stones down here. Another final fight. And as you see, my honor's slowly going up. With the multiple food. Well, if you put it on a higher rationing, you'll obviously get more, but I ain't got a steady supply of meat, so it won't affect it too much. But double rations. Double rations, that's fantastic. Now you'll begin the people love lots you, of extra Lord. happiness, so you Our might as well treasury get is some, empty. Might as well get some cash out of it. High taxes, I don't like it. And just let's just turn down this speech volume. Like, ah, oh, go down no settings. So, okay, that's a bit unfortunate, but yeah, just put your treasury up to our six. treasury is empty. And that was get you some. The people cash. love you, my lord. Your honor's slowly going up. Let's see how they should do. Um, He's got his hovel sorted. Can't yep, he's, he's starving these people. He didn't place his food resources quick enough at the start. <laughs> He'll, he's going to be off for a bumpy start. Getting his supplies he's need. That's one thing you can at least say. Alright. And now we can finally... Now we've finally got enough honor you want to click the tab up here that says three man and this is where you rank up you click promote to rank up and when you promote you see what you need for your next rank so my well, next rank Arise. I need 15 Yeoman. honor and the highest rank is duke so got quite a while to go yet I believe there's 10 ranks total another tip for you is that you need gong pits to help control the gong all the shit that people leave behind so you wanna leave you wanna you don't need a lot, you just need to place them enough around your castle area so they can control them in all areas so I normally do normally do around about three in a good circulation area. And as we don't really use a lot of population yet, and we still place some more, we well we'll use what what we can and just get some stone going in. Might as well. Don't see why not. So, obviously, you're gonna be deleting this later on because it's just gonna be using population space that you could use for something more important. But it's just a good, easy, free way of getting stone while you're not using your whole population. Again, you can't rely on that to gather all your stone, just most, or not most of it, you've lost just a bit of it. A lot of it you're going to eventually have to buy. So yeah, that should do. Now, another way of gaining honour, I saw I had a wheat, what we do for a wheat in a sec, is Lord's Kitchen. Place that down, then I'll show you what to do. But for now, let's sort of just wait. Okay, for us concentrate on bread, we need to get a lot of wheat. Then we'll turn that into flour, then to bread. And that was my mate sorting out his mic. Yes, I'm oh, back. Yes, he's back. <laughs> Okay, um, let's see, didn't have much supplies as I thought, so I'm going to sell, normally I should have got more than this and started selling some of the food I gathered in, but I didn't get a lot, so we'll just go with what I got, again, right, good,
Right, well, Jeffrey likes his wood. I do. You won't have this many wheat farms at the, uh, later on in the game. You're going to be deleting a bunch of these. This is just for the start, so you can get it going really quickly. Then you just want to place some mills. You don't need chimney yet. Well, probably three will do you for now. Place there, then just wait. I'll wait for some. Let's see, let's see if I'll place some more of these down for now. And wait. Actually, we can promote once more while we're waiting. Arise, squire! Okay. You need a falconer's post to control the rats that are left. So I might as well wait until this wood comes in. But again, just place the falconer's post against each one of your gongs. That's how I'll do it. It'll will help cover the same area and uh, literally that will be enough as well. It's just my little tip. Also it helps conserve a bit of space so you spread them out separately further away. Space is really the key if you want to have more free space than that. Or if you don't care that space should do on mate soon but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're promoted yet, have you, about him? No. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Lord's Kitchen. People normally rush to get this and just buy it all to just create the game on it, but most of you, you are good enough, you don't really need to rush too quickly, but you don't want to leave it too late. If you leave it too late, then obviously you're going to be a bit further behind. But if you build a good enough economy, you can easily catch up to faster players who's rushed to get knights. Obviously, I ain't playing at my fastest best, but. I'm going to just promote now. Yep. Nice. This is just a simple tutorial. Yeah, there's the Lord's Kitchen. Now, I just recommend just buy just two, uh, make sure you have ten of each, that's required, except for the grape, you don't need the grapes. Now I'll use seven of each to give you 150 on up per like, feast, so you want to make sure you always have seven in there. So once I get more cash, I'll, make, I'll stock up on quite a bit of these, so each feast... Basically, I keep getting a good amount of honor. Simply this way to put it. So just keep this well stocked for now. Then once you get to a, a royal champion, you can start getting statues, which will give you constant honor. And you'll get most of your cash from selling, obviously, bread. In this case. And if you want to save some money on weapons and that, it's best to try to build at least some of your weapons early on. So when you come to building your knights and all that, you at least have some pre some of the weapons pre-built by you and you probably have to buy the rest if you want to keep up. That's just a little tip but we'll get to that bit shortly. But yeah, iron I'll try to keep on here if it's safe enough. Poor I normally get rid of for these for the population wise. Uh, I'm already at max population and there's not that many left so then all this will be bread things and that and I'll show you what to do with the estates eventually once we get to that stage. On this map it's very simple. Normally it'd be a 3 beat 3 map where you have a teammate on each side, but we're just using it for 1-4-1. One, one. Uh, it'll be actually safer to have your estates like this on this map as well, if no one's next to you. Okay. 
play it, as you see, use seven of each. Now I've got a bit of cash going up, buy some more again. I'll see that used roughly just over 300, so I'll buy another one of each. So yeah, just over about three, four hundred at use. Well, over three hundred, obviously. Uh, about four. Yeah, about just over four, probably. But yeah, now I sorted for another feast and almost two actually. It's just one short of being two. Just sell a few of them. Good on that. Now, obviously we're getting a nice amount of wheat coming in, but now to grind it into some flour. Okay, generally that should be enough for now. Normally five, six will be enough of the mills. Then once you get enough flour, you want to start converting sh just solely to wheat. Don't worry if you ain't got that many peasants down here for when you're building troops yet, because you don't peasants need them. Peasants are dying from disease. But later on, you will have peasants there, so you can build units quicker. Or well, not quicker, and build groups. So most of this will be gone once you get an estate. So you're muting your mic, Letchford. Yes, because I don't think you want to hear me talking to my brother. Good point. <laughs> we'll keep that out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Before we promote tonight, just make sure we've got all the necessary materials. Yep. Here when you promote tonight, you've got to deal with a third Arise, problem. Night. You've got to deal with crime. So you're going to need a courthouse and some guard posts. Normally I'll place one or two by the hovels and one by the granary. And that will just help control An crime. Has been promoted. So obviously you freeze the golden number for dealing with certain bits. Then obviously not when you're placing stocks you need... I normally go with around eight stocks. That's basically... Yeah, eight stocks is normally roughly enough. Uh, so far, I don't see. No, you know, you rarely get this for anyway. But it's a good number. I, you won't have to have no more than that, really. Okay. That should start getting going a bit quicker soon, so. I can really now start. Get rid of some of these buildings. Get rid of them completely. Actually, I'll move the guard post onto a different side. Probably put it behind it for now. Then I'll start building some bakeries. Just start doing it closer to the stockpile. Then slowly work your way towards the granary. Now that will help its efficiency more. So it's got to get flour from the things and deliver the bread to the granary. So this will help give you the best efficiency. And not only if there ain't enough peasants yet, because I'll show you. We'll just get rid of that down, because eventually we'll get rid of all this here. Uh, not the granary, of course, and that. Then you don't need as many wheat. And obviously we've got the... 150 from it, and we actually don't need. Actually, we still need the woodcutters, and that. And so far, we're actually yeah, we're almost good. Again, we'll probably have to get some, some more. Just An enemy lord. Has stick been with 15 wheat for now, because that'll do. Woodcutters, you're gonna have to generally get rid of some. Okay, and that should sort out. That problem there. Just give it a bit of time yet. Wait, so, wait, one's been hanged. Okay, um, and that's sorted. 
Also, you can promote. Arise. We we'll recommend Night promoting again. Yeah. We we'll recommend using honor on estate and make that to producing your flower. So that way you don't have to keep producing it into your estate. You can mass produce it in one estate, bring it over to your and just concentrate on making bread. Save your population and increase your efficiency. Can't so you start there, placing Lord. the hovels, then what do you want? There's a second stockpile. Get some flour mills ready. Want this to be active fully, so eight. You end up that's why that everything else in this and just produce loads of wheat farms. I normally try to do it as neat as possible as you seem to get obviously more in there and it's you can get more close to the stockpile. Generally it looks better. That's just to be sorted. To be honest, you can keep it like that if you want. You can add more. I'll be adding more later on. But yeah, once that gets going, bad, you set Carter's post. As this is the first time you've once you get to a higher post, rank, I will give you some you'll be able to build. You'll be able to eventually build a Carter's post in this tab here. Then you'll build some more. Then you'll get. Then you can just send more over to your estate. Easier. It's very simple. And we'll probably be doing the exact same to this estate, or we'll turn this into an apple estate, and it'll just get us to send us constantly apples. So we've got two food resources. Either way, you'll be well supplied. Um, I'll have to sort out some early weapon building in a sec. Uh, I would put the armory back here. This will just be out of the way over here. Same with the barracks, I'll put it out of the way. And same with this. That's uh, all good. Church can be helpful if you want to mess around with your get your tax a bit no higher change than that. In the treasury, Lord. Once we get this all sorted and going, I would eventually get a church make some candles and increase my tax up a bit more to get a more constant flow of cash. Actually we can work on that now. Not everyone does this but it does help more than what people think. Just to get a good church going you don't need a lot of candle makers with this population. Do a line each of these honeys, these don't take up no populations, just the beehives they produce the honey that you need, then just place candle makers along each one. So I nice four be enough, that's perfect. And just place a church down when you get some I'll normally place a church when some candles are made. So that way it'd be better in my opinion. Select goods. Okay, now the wheat's finally coming Canceling in. Cancelling this shipment, my lord. Let's see if we've got more wood yet. Yes. And let's promote. Arise, knight errant. Okay, the kitchen's going to need a bit more, so. Okay, let's see, we've got a bunch of wheat, bread, just sell a bunch. It's normally just below 200. And you got a good amount of cash already. Buy some more wood, whatever. And so at this twenty-one, that would be good for three feasts. That's four fifty on her. And normally, I'll normally just forget about that by now. So you can keep it supply for one, but that will give you enough to get you onto the royal champion. I'm already on royal Arise. champion already. Royal champion. Now you want to be spamming statues in a sec to get your honor up going even faster. 
But right now I want to get some saws producing. So that will actually save me a bit of cash in the long run. Um, actually I need more, uh, need more armories An than enemy lord swords. Has been swords produce quite quickly. You don't need too many of them now. You should now be able Select to goods. almost be able to start sending in 50 lots soon. Cancelling this shipment, my lord. Yeah, let's get some honor rolling and we can grab this other estate and get that going. Obviously, when most people play free mode, there'll be a peace time, so you wouldn't have to worry about enemies. So. Yeah, normally people will play peace time for a certain amount of years, but if there's no peace times, then you also got to improvise and build troops when necessary. Now, normally when you get to the level rank three, you'll be able to start building bows and spearmen, archers and spearmen. So you probably have to use some of your gold to buy some arrows and that. Normally I would have started building some arrows, but I probably just buy them in the end. But yeah, you wouldn't expect Can't to have too many statues yet, but to be honest, that's a good starting amount. You also want a lot more, because knights are quite a lot. And I wouldn't normally sell iron, but you don't really gain much iron from it, so it's just best to use it to make weapons. Select okay. goods. Now, now, select the amount you wish to send, my lord. Okay, now that you've got enough wheat uh, flour How in here, often would you, you like to do a continuous supply so to your base. The goods are on the way, my lord. So once you click select your goods. man, and you click continuous, then you click the estate, so you click inside your border area, and it will start sending a continuous 50 flour to your stockpile. And actually, I cannot build them um, yet, I believe it's the next rank. Before we go into the next rank, We'll get this other estate. Select goods. And we'll turn we'll turn this into a apple one. For an apple one. Can't place that there, my lord. Tomorrow's Can't place that there, my lord. It. Can't place that there, my lord. Can't place that there, my lord. Can't place that there, my lord. I don't, I don't really care about going too neat on this one. Can't place that there, my lord. 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 Do that about ten minutes and that'll be nicely done. Alright, it's just sorry saying that year it's forty, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Cancelling this shipment, my lord. Okay, um, that's on its way back, so it will send 50 wheat or flour, whatever. Yeah, that's got a good amount. Okay, um, what we can start doing now is shortening down on this. On all you would leave, try and leave four and some windmills at least, just in case they some like an enemy takes over your estates. But on this map, don't have to worry too much about that. And now it'll probably be time to get rid of these as they're no longer needed. And now you can start placing more bread. Can't place that there, my lord. Can't place that there, my lord. Okay. Let's see, we've got a nice supply of candles now. So just place a church anywhere with this space. So let's say just down here. Actually, I'll, yeah, um, I'll do it. I'll do it here. And um, what you do, put on mass executed. We are losing a little money, my lord. Then raise your cash to. Cruel. Cruel taxes, oh no! And you'll keep getting a good positive population. Your thing will should not go negative as long as you 
Oh, yeah, never gone negative on me since I've been doing all this, so... Should get a nice income. We are losing a little and money, my yeah. I just gotta wait for honours game. What's on our okay? I'll show you what we can do next. My mate's really starting to fend on his wall. Obviously, he sees me play, but. I thought you were going to learn by watching me play a few times that like that will not stop me. <laughs> <laughs> that will not stop me. And for some reason <laughs> he wants to block up the sides because he can just buy the mistakes and use them to his advantage. But right, if you look at the map, there's a river, so there's literally no one can attack you from your left or right, just straight ahead. If you just look, oh, yeah. at, look around the map, yeah, so you just notice that. Then there's three estates up for grab in the middle. Yep. Okay. Get just sell a bit more bread. Then build some more statues. Never have enough statues, that's for sure. Unless you've got a thousand of them and no cash, then. Yeah, you gotta stop building them. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> now uh, hit the 200 mark. Arise, no. Baron. Uh, there's only two more ranks left until your max rank. There's L and there's Duke. L is when we start building our defense. L is. But now you can build a carts post, so you want to build several close to your border. With wheat, you probably only need four, but you can go a bit Select overboard. Goods. How often, sire? Then you also do goods. what you did to the first one, How 50 often, continuous. Sire? Select goods. How often, sire? Select goods. How often, sire? Select goods. Choose amount. The goods are on the way, my lord. Select goods. How often, sire? Man, there you go. Now, I would recommend getting some bit more wheat so you obviously get a lot more going in faster than that. Literally use this estate to everything it can. Unless you don't have to worry about the economy much because look, it's got apples and that. It'll survive. So just use it for everything it has. Would need it, me lord. Then you basically do the same for the others except the. Uh, yeah, and the others, but on this, just more carts post for the apples. So. Can't place that there, my lord. <laughs> Select goods. Choose a mount. The goods are on the way, my lord. How often, sire? Select goods. How often, sire? Select goods. How often, sire? So, this estate sending me 240 apples consistently to my main base, so. That's all good. Right into L. Arise, Earl. So now we'll work on a defense. Generally, I would think what would be the best way to do it. An enemy lord has been. Now, if I can do it like this, it, it would be kind of simple. But I'd rather do it to the side this time. Right, round about. Um, let's see. Let's do it around here, leaving a good gap between each. This is just our defense I'm thinking of for this map. Different ma for each map, it's going to be different what defense you do. Let's just do a simple, nice simple wall. Bam! That's your first def. That's dumb. The nice kill from enemies, but I doubt this will stop much. So you need to add. Also, you're gonna have a moat. You wanna have it as wide as the drawbridge. But you know, look, it's just you might see a little gap there. You don't have to worry about that. They still cross easily, fine. 
And they can't just simply just destroy your walls so I'm just walking. They have to just dig out the moat as well. I wouldn't really have to work on defense right now because I'm facing my mate, so I don't see it much of a threat, but I'll just show you what I would normally do. Plus, I like doing defenses, so <laughs> do some square towers here. Do some here. Do one of these here because no doubt it might try to attack your drawbridge from there. I already thought of that. Then, also, you want to start. Uh, Stone Obviously, you don't stone, but all oh, this is this won't be wall no more. This will be full of towers, everything. Once I think Duke, arise, Duke. These towers here will have mounted ballistas. Peasants needed, sire. Then I'll put a tower and wall blazer, so they fire fire arrows. I'll put some on here, cause I'll put archers there. And I'll be doing that all the way around. Okay, now I still got a ton, or I've got loads of stuff, so I don't really need that no more. I'll keep one windmill, I'll keep obviously one wheat farm, and I should have some peasants coming back to me now. I need more peasants, so I'll get rid of some of this stuff. That should give me 21, but I need to get some cash. Line, so I'm gonna need more bread. Um, probably only like another row here, if you want. But to be honest, what I had before was generally would have been enough. Well, not enough. People would spam a lot more than this. People wouldn't even have all this here. I'm just using it as an advantage thing. Because during this whole time, I built. 22 swords, 22 8 armor, and that actually saves you quite a bit of money. Especially when you don't exactly get a lot anyway. Even after saying all this, you'll be spending a lot of it on horse archers and everything. And that, and you don't have to worry about this no more. You're getting it's good steady on there. You'll have more statues eventually. Uh, right now, just, just spam stone. <laughs> Normally I would have had some buildings to build some bows and that, but I'm just gonna buy them this time. So uh, 30 archers and uh, 15 crossbowmen I will use just to defend my base for now. So I'm mainly gonna be doing offensive but I know my mate's a noob but you can never trust a noob. They might surprise you. They can be some tricky bastards. Not me. <laughs> oh, that's for sure. Not you, but you never know. <laughs> Can't you might, place that you might there, be my this lord. time. You might Can't be. Can't place that there, my lord. Do, 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 do. Another thing you want to get is some stables for your knights. Obviously, this costs quite a bit of money, so you need money for it. Normally, I'll try to get four or five of them. Of them. An uh, enemy lord has been promoted. As, as you can tell, my mate's still promoting, so <laughs> yeah, he doesn't move as fast as me. What rank are you now, Brandon? Baron. Baron, okay, not too bad, but slow. And how you tell? He does. He tries to listen to my advice, but he's not doing too bad. As I've seen him play, he's doing okay. <laughs> he doesn't have any. He'll probably be buying his weapons as he's not really building any. So he ain't even got a barracks or an armory. I'm, I'm hoping he will have. At least some food to sell or get a bit of decent cash to buy himself an army. <laughs> right now this is gonna just gonna be, mark, sire. This is just gonna be a slaughter at the moment. 
We move! At the moment. So this is going to be extreme slaughter. Weapons needed, sire. Bowman! String up! Oh, we are on our way! Weapons needed, sire. Also, when I go defense, I'll be going a bit more overboard than what I am now, but also, as I said, there's no need for me to go too overboard in defense. So I normally go a bit more overboard in this, but again, no need. Yeah, I did say you'll be spending quite a lot of money on stone, so if you collect quite a bit of it early, then you'll save yourself some cash. Can't place that there, my lord. Yeah, I don't like doing mistakes like that, as it costs you quite a bit. Perfect. An enemy lord has been promoted. Can't place that there, my lord. Can't place that there, my lord. Lift those bows, you dogs! Quickly! And then that's a little basic defense on. We are probably filled this with pitch or traps. Do it with everyone when I ain't gonna bother too much on this. I doubt my mate even be able to destroy this anyway. Yeah, mum. But he does like to see me dig by moats, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> has gone bad, sire. What if you heard of the drawbridge gate yet? <laughs> so right now you can't get in or out. Um, how are we doing? Select oh goods. wow, okay, I need more carter posts on this side because I can use all these apple. I'd test so. See if they usually ship it automatically. Sometimes they ship it automatically, sometimes they don't, but if they don't, I'll just do it manually, but might as well wait and see if they do. If they do, then I'm just going to be spamming a lot more cart posts than that. So I'll be able to sit, get use some of that to some use. How are we doing on this side? Select um, goods. That's good, that's good over here. Again. Use this to everything you can. Don't see why there's no point in not doing it. Okay, that's it. Yeah, that's sending it automatically. Saves me clicking, and that's what I like about this. But normally, when it runs empty or stops sending them, and even if it gets some in it, it, it won't send. So, what I'm going to have to do is do each one manually. Probably once it runs empty. But oh well. Normally, the right about now, the enemy will actually probably already the enemy will probably will have started building knights by now. So but so not me. No, I'm not, <laughs> no, you're too slow. Yeah, he's, he's not even got an armory or a barracks yet. <laughs> I well, might learn a bit more on defense. Yeah, she has improved since I last played with him earlier. So, I give him that. I will play with him more online now. Now that he's getting <laughs> a little bit better. 
hopefully you'll watch this video and you'll learn from what I've been teaching right now. <laughs> so I'm already getting going up in gold already. I'm already at ten thousand. Which is quite a bit, you know, before in our last match I was over a hundred grand, but then again we had loads of hovels pre built, so population weren't much of an issue. So I could have spam like hell. But in this there's a hovel limit, so way to get rid of the hovel limit is to build a build a map that has pre built hovels on it in each set like territory area. And you just bypass that limit, but Recruit that kind of kills the fun sometimes, and just sometimes it creates more fun. It's who's got the best. I wouldn't say best skill, but best imagination on building the best castle, making the best profit. It's who's the fastest with that population cap. But yeah, I already started working on some knights. And he ain't got no blisters or anything, he ain't got no archers. I can probably attack him in a sec actually. Before he gets too, before he gets too smart for his own good. We go to battle! Well, I would imagine I need a big army for this attack, so. Recruit. I'll soon meet my demise. I'm gonna go easy on my mate here, but obviously, when you're facing other players, you've got to use a lot more troops on what I'm about to use. <laughs> but yeah, this is a simple three man tutorial on just how to replay really three man and that. It's just a simple, simplish technique that will help you improve. You have to follow this exactly, you but you can use it to help you out a lot. Let's ride. This will help you improve your gameplay, learn what obviously I'd seen and done. Tried being as simple as I could. But yeah, obviously the population is good, getting a good amount of honor. Normally I'd go from, you can go for more statues than I normally would. So normally you're in, normally when you're with statues you see the other player statues and you just basically compete with them. And you see you can get more statues than the best army. That's what I normally end up doing. Uh, I normally buy a stake close to an enemy. Okay, Brandon. Again, he's taking my. He took my tip with this church, which I'm glad. But does he know how to build? Do you know how to build? Um, make candles, Brandon. I need to make the. Uh, you need to make a chandelier's workshop, and you've got to place several beehives around it. Yeah. If you look at mine, you'll see what I've done. <laughs> and that's a good, efficient way to do it. Okay. An armorer has turned to cry, my liege. Alright, Brian, I would recommend you start working on some military force. <laughs> History awaits us. Maybe get some ballistas on the tower if you know how to, Brian. Yeah. Do you know how to build a wall ballista? I think so. Well, it's in the military tab. And you'll see tower mounted ballista. Nice and simple. Yep. An enemy lord has been promoted. Ride on! Obviously, I'm just going to put these in hibernation. Work halted, my lord. Work halted, my lord. Okay, he's trying to get some dogs to ruin my day, but it's not going to happen. We march. Yeah, I can't do the ballistas because I've run out of population. I need po peasants. <laughs> got to wait. <laughs> and now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get rid of these goddamn. What's a nice fast unit? I know. Let's get some of these. <laughs> Good. I like using these to get rid of moats. Weapons. Still be used as an offensive troop. What troubles um, you sire? Yeah. Spur horses! Obviously I ain't gonna My knight, horse so... Is swift. Our fates are yeah. entwined! At the gallop! I was just only these dogs with these one knights. Let's run! 
Coming in. Do you want some of me? My Do you want some of me? Is yours. That's what I thought. Can't <laughs> have them. Now what I'll do is I'll Ride keep on. a knight nearby, so... I follow your banner. I see how it is. <laughs> say the word. Ride Inch. like the wind. I hear you clicking. You're probably laying down small. Let's see. Galloping horses. Yeah, that's impossible. Right. Yeah, <laughs> you probably replaced None it. Are faster. It. At your command. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to replace it now. Swift. We go <laughs> to battle. Spur horses. <laughs> now, as I keep like at least minimum of four knights, it'll be an gallop. easy kill. Let's ride. Ride on. Spur okay, horses. Okay, no problem. Okay, Matt. Your Highness. Maceman, really good at digging up moats. What a lousy job! You protect job. them. You they can also be offensive lead, afterwards. Lord. Also, I'm going to go for the main gates because you can't repair that. You can repair these towers and that. But you can't repair the main gates, so as soon as that's dead, easy. I still have not seen his barracks or armory, so he can't build no units. I think he, oh, I've mentioned it several times right now, so I would at least think he would at least remember to build one of each and start buying weapons to build an army. <laughs> do you know how to? Oh yeah, you do know how to build an army because you built one before, Brandon. Yeah. You know how to buy weapons, don't you? Yeah. Then. Uh, this is going to be an easy game. History awaits us. I expect to destroy a bit we of challenge, but I'll see he's a volunteer. I'm not a... As I said, he is a new black use. <laughs> not sure I'm going to do what any attacker would. Hopefully, Brandon will learn from this mistake that he just recently made, or made earlier. Brandon, yeah. Now you see the advice I gave earlier: try not to build near where your defence is going to be. Yeah. Can you see the reason why? Yeah. I've destroyed <laughs> all your hovels that you built near your defence, and that's what Amy, and that's what other players will do against you. <laughs> you can't give them that advantage. My noble lord. You know, these, some of these are basic tips, but everyone can do with it. Moving to sight. Okay, now that the moat's dig what up, troubles you, I'll sire. just send in my knights. Gallop. He ain't got no peasants. Even if he does build an army and barracks now, nah, he can only get, what, one swordsman, and nah, that's going God knows where. <laughs> I don't know if you put a ray point down or what. Wait, is that his swordsman? No, yeah, that is the swordsman. Just make sure it ain't his lord trying to run. Our fates are in Wait, I think he did. Yeah, he sent his lord yours. somewhere to run. Victory! Did you just disband it? Oh no, what was he outside? <laughs> no, my lord was in the castle. That was a swordsman running away. <laughs> How did I win? Oh, your sword. Oh, your your um, lord must have came out. <laughs> Attacked the knights. But yeah, that is a tutorial, everyone. I hope you all like it. And good luck online, because there's still people playing online. Like me. <laughs> yeah, there's still people playing online. There's always a game or... There's always several games going on when I've come on most of the time, so... Yes, yeah, people still do play. And there's several noobs like me. <laughs> yeah, there's still noobs out there. I ain't lying, there's still noobs out there. And this is just here to help you get better. <laughs> so, like the video if you liked it, and... I'll be probably uploading more game town different games in the future. Most likely. See ya.